Hey, it's Trail over at Go Hunt. Uh, it's hard to believe, but we're already looking at applications for the fall of 2023. One of the first states out of the gate is Alaska. So Alaska's deadline, if you plan to apply for a hunt there, is December 15th at 5 p.m. Alaska Standard Time. Application is actually open right now. It opened November 1st, but you have until that 15th of December at 5 p.m. Alaska time to still apply for a hunt if you decide to do so. Um, the results, if you, if you draw a permit, those are typically going to be out about the third uh, Friday in February. So you know pretty quick uh, before you actually start a lot of your Western applications. So that is one benefit of Alaska. Uh, one of the commonly asked questions that we get is, do I have to buy a hunting license to apply in Alaska? And you do. You have to buy a hunting license. You have to have a, a valid hunting license. So that cost is going to be $160 bucks for a non-resident. Uh, that's non-refundable. You're not going to get that money back. You have to purchase it outright. Uh, beyond that, uh, the cost typically is about $5 per choice per species that you decide to apply for. Um, there is a slight variance. So some species, including bison and muskox, that cost is going to be $10. So like I said, $5 per choice for most species or $10 per choice for bison and muskox. Applications are only available online, so you can't call Game and Fish in Alaska. The only way that you can apply is to get an account with Alaska Game and Fish and apply online. If you apply and you draw a permit, uh, you are not automatically charged the cost of the locking tag. So if you're successful, you have to actually purchase the locking tag for the species and the hunt that you drew. Um, you can purchase that up until the date you enter the field, but you do have to purchase that before you go out into the field hunting. Um, that is one benefit of Alaska is you don't have to front the entire cost of the locking tag should you draw a permit. If you draw a permit in Alaska, that permit is non-refundable. You can't return it and get your money back. You also cannot transfer that tag to somebody else. So for example, if I drew a permit and I want to transfer it to my kid, that's not available to me. And like I said, you also cannot be refunded for the cost of that permit. We get asked a lot of questions about the draw in Alaska and how that works. Uh, first and foremost, Alaska does not have a point system. So if you're familiar with a lot of Western states, it's not like that. You don't have a bonus point or a preference point system. It is a completely random draw. When you apply for a species, you actually have up to six choices that you can apply for, and you can even apply for the same hunt as all six of your choices. So in essence, if you have a permit that you really want to draw, you can throw all six of your choices on that same hunt and give yourself six chances in the draw to draw that permit. You can mix and match those, you can do whatever you want, but like I said, you get up to six choices for each species that you apply for. You can apply as a party in Alaska in the draw, and the maximum party size is two. Uh, I would recommend if you decide to apply, you might as well apply with a buddy. Uh, Alaska is a, it's a pretty gnarly state, and it's an adventure style hunt. If you go up there, I wouldn't recommend you go alone. I would say take a buddy, and if you're gonna apply, you might as well jump in, apply in a group application with a friend. Like I said, maximum size party of two. Um, Alaska has some nuances in what you can apply for, what's required for a guide. Uh, so there are some species that you absolutely have to have a guide to hunt. Uh, those species are going to be brown bear, grizzly bear, uh, doll sheep, and mountain goat. Uh, those three species, um, you know, grizzly bear, brown bear, doll sheep, there are some available over-the-counter permits. But like I said, if you go that route, you do have to have a guide. Uh, there are some hunts for all three of those species that are draw only. Once again, you got to have a guide. Um, if you decide to go in the draw, make sure that you contact a guide. You have a guide, guide agreement signed and in place before you apply. It's just one of those things about Alaska. I would love to go up there and hunt those species on my own, uh, but Alaska rules require a guide for those three species. There is one little caveat. Uh, it's that you can go with a next of kin. So if you got a relative, you got a brother that lives up there in Alaska and you can convince him to go on a brown bear hunt with you. You can actually go up there on one of those hunts if you have a person that's related to you next of kin and you can go up there and hunt those three species without a guide. But you do have to have a resident that's a relative to go with you. Another question that we get asked a lot about are what species can you go up and you buy a permit and you can go on a hunt, you can do it DIY style. When you're talking about those types of hunt, typically those are moose, caribou, black bear, 
Sitka blacktail deer. So those four species, you can go up, you can plan and do a hunt on your own. And everything in Alaska, it's available to you. But once again, you do have to do the research. You do have to dig in and make sure that you have all your ducks in a row to pull off a hunt like that. Uh, this is where our ins insider research platform comes in really handy. Uh, you can pull up filtering 2.0. You can pick the species that you're interested in. You can hit the drop down with the select seasons and you can find those over the counter opportunities and you can really start to find and hone in on the areas and the hunts that are available to you DIY. Once you find an area and a species, you know, after that, it's all about planning. It's finding a transporter, it's finding your airline tickets, it's getting all the gear to pull off a, a hunt like that. Uh, those are all available to you. There's some phenomenal hunts. Uh, I've gone up there and I've hunted moose, I've hunted caribou, I've hunted Sitka blacktail on Kodiak a couple times. Um, I wished I had started earlier. I wished I had started in my 20s because like I said, these hunts are all available and they're a whole lot more doable than you might think. So now's the time to do your research if you want to go on a hunt in Alaska in 2023. So with that, like I said, Plan a hunt in Alaska, go to Alaska. I promise you the first time that you go, you're gonna look back on that and you're gonna wish that you'd have done it earlier in your life. That insider platform is key to helping you pull this type of hunt off. And we actually have a promo code running right now. If you use the promo code DO50 and you sign up for a Go Hunt Insider account, we're actually gonna give you 50 points back to the Go Hunt gear shop. That's 50 bucks in your pocket that you can use towards the purchase of any gear equipment that we have in the shop. All the equipment that I use personally, we carry in the shop. Like I said, I've been to Alaska. I've pulled off some successful DIY hunts up there. So like I said, use that promo code DO50, get yourself 50 bucks, get yourself an insider research account. Go to Alaska in 2023. I promise you, you will never regret it.